Russian drone attacks on Ukraine's Danubort's claim lives in infrastructure. In an unsettling development, a recent drone attack orchestrated by Russia on a port along the Danube River in Ukraine resulted in a tragic loss of an agricultural worker's life and caused significant damage to the grain infrastructure. This was confirmed by a Ukrainian official on Wednesday. Ola Kuyper, the chief of the Odessa region's military administration, took to Telegram to inform the public about the severity of the assault. According to Kuyper, the attack wasn't just confined to the port. Several settlements within the Izmail district also bore the brunt of the drone strikes, amplifying the devastation. It's worth noting that this isn't an isolated incident. Over the past few months, Russia has consistently set its sights on Ukraine's shipping infrastructure. The tension between the two countries took a sharp turn in July when Russia decided to withdraw from the Black Sea grain deal. But this move not only strained the diplomatic ties between the two nations, but also had broader implications for the global community. The termination of the accord resulted in a spike in global food prices, posing a direct threat to the sustenance of the world's most impoverished nations. In light of these rising tensions, a crucial meeting was held on Monday between Russian President Vladimir Putin and Turkey's leader, Tayyip Erdogan. The primary agenda was to discuss potential avenues to reintegrate Moscow into the vital grain deal. However, despite the high stakes, the conversation failed to yield any significant breakthroughs leaving the international community in a state of uncertainty. Ukrainian forces battle against Russian troops in Bakhmut amidst a tense eastern front. The situation on the eastern front of Ukraine continues to be tense and challenging as Ukrainian forces strive to reclaim the strategic city of Bakhmut from Russian occupation. Colonel General Alexander Sirskyi, the commander of Ukraine's ground forces, highlighted the current state of affairs in a recent statement. Bakhmut, which fell into Russian hands in May, has been the epicenter of intense combat. Despite the adversity, Ukrainian forces have managed to secure small victories, making modest advancements to the south and northwest perimeters of the city in the past few weeks. However, the battle to reclaim the city fully from the Russian troops remains uphill. General Sirsky's statement on Telegram sheds light on the overarching scenario on the Eastern Front, describing it as difficult. He emphasized the relentless ambition of Russian forces to establish dominance across the borders of the Donetsk and Luhansk regions. But the adversary, he noted, is unwavering in its mission and is geared up to retaliate and seize the operational initiative. An additional area of concern is near Kupiansk, located in northeastern Ukraine, the region witnesses relentless Russian aggression with the enemy preparing assault units and consistently bombarding Ukrainian positions with artillery and mortars. Sirsky also pointed out that Russian forces are in the process of reinforcing their numbers in the Lyman area, situated approximately 25 miles to the north of Bakhmut. In light of these developments, the Ukrainian military's primary objectives are clear-cut, they aim to maintain their stronghold near Kupiansk and Lyman, whilst also focusing on making headway on the Bakhmut front. Detailed analysis. Moscow's tactical retreat from Robody amidst rising tensions. As the fog of war thickens over Ukraine, the geopolitical narrative shifts, and so do the battle lines. One such significant shift recently transpired in the southeastern village of Robotin, which witnessed a calculated pullback of Russian forces. While many saw this as a sign of Ukrainian strength and Russian weakness, Moscow has its own perspective. Uh, Yevgeny Blitsky, the Moscow-backed acting governor of the occupied Zaporizhia region, took to local television to share insights on the retreat. In his discourse, he vehemently maintained the Russian withdrawal was not born out of defeat but was instead a tactical repositioning. Ukrainian forces, according to earlier reports by CNN, had managed to penetrate the well-fortified Russian defenses surrounding Robody, leading to the eventual recapture of the village. Paint a somber image of the current state of Robotime.
Belitsky described a village deeply scarred by the ravages of war. Once a bustling village, home to hundreds, Robotti now stands as a testament to the brutalities of conflict. He commented, the prolonged confrontations have left it in ruins, making it almost indistinguishable from the pre-war village that once thrived there. Highlighting the strategic rationale behind the Russian pullback, Belitsky underlined that continuing to hold on to a devastated village, which had lost much of its strategic value, was neither expedient nor logical. Instead, the Russian forces chose to retreat to the advantageous terrains of the adjacent hills. These elevations not only provide a superior vantage point, but also offer strategic advantages for both defense and launching potential counterattacks. Robotics' critical importance in the broader conflict spectrum is unquestionable. Over the past three months, it emerged as a linchpin in Ukraine's southern counteroffensive. The village's strategic significance attracted an inordinate amount of military attention, leading to its unfortunate devastation. Despite the extensive damage, the vestiges of Robotine are still coveted, as evidenced by the relentless artillery barrages and skirmishes it continues to witness. As the battle rages on, the village's fate remains emblematic of the larger struggle that engulfs the region